Hi beautiful people. I wanted to update everyone who has been following my story. So the last time you heard from me, we welcomed our first baby girl after what was a difficult and emotional journey. My daughter is almost a year old now and I thought it would be a great idea to introduce her to all of you. God has truly blessed us beyond measure. Peyton is carbon copy mama with daddy's eyes. She is so lovable and friendly. She's smart, happy, healthy, funny and absolutely gorgeous. She steals my heart every time she says mama. It's such a privilege to know this type of love and she's my favorite little person in the entire world. With regards to my health, I have been doing great. I decided to breastfeed Peyton for one year minimum, so my doctor put me on microval. I'm not sure if the endometriosis has gotten better or worse, but I guess I'll find that out once I go off the microval. In the meantime, I'm enjoying not having to go through the pain that comes with menstrual cycle. The only thing I am currently having difficulty with is I seem to be having a lot more migraines than usual and once in a while I have a bloated tummy and, and minor inflammation. I want to encourage all women, especially moms of teenage girls, to be more aware of early signs of endometriosis. Early detection can prevent women from having to go through the emotional and physical suffering. When I was younger, I had extremely bad period pains, heavy bleeding, sometimes my menstrual cycle would come twice a month for more than 10 days at a time. My cramps were so severe my body would pull stuff and I would turn pale in color. I would throw up so much that I would throw up bile. These were all early signs of endometriosis, which doctors failed to diagnose. All they said was, I'm anemic. Less women would suffer with infertility issues, which lead to other issues like depression, suicidal thoughts, marital problems, weight issues, etc. etc. One in ten women suffer with endometriosis. Let's bring awareness to this issue by talking about it more and sharing my video. March is endometriosis month and I would like to salute all my endo sisters. You are phenomenal. You are a warrior. And don't let anyone make you feel like you are not enough. You are in my prayers, sending you lots of love and strength.